What's up, broski? Boy, oh boy. I want to talk about these AEW fanboys. You know, the more I get to see how these AEW fanboys operate, the more I see that they're no different than a libtard cuck soy boy. So I don't know if you guys know what happened to Jim Ross. He made a comment when he was commentating a female match in AEW. He made a, a simple sexual comment, which, you know what, wasn't even that offensive, right? Uh, as soon as he made that comment, a bunch of fucking AEW fanboys attacked him on Twitter. Oh, what you said was offensive, JR. That was a misogynistic comment. You know what the comment was, broski? It was something like this. I, I, I forgot the name of the fucking skank wrestler that was wrestling, uh, but he was like, oh, is she having a wardrobe malfunction or is that just wishful thinking? <laughs> Anyways, to me, that's pretty fucking funny because if you don't get it, obviously, you know, wishful thinking. Jim Ross being a fucking man, he wants to, he's, he's imagining a hot piece of ass in the ring naked. So, so fucking what? And these AEW fanboys attacked him for that. Call him all a bunch of names because of this stupid comment. Bro, this is, this is what I don't get about these stupid wrestling fans. They talk so much about, oh, I want the Attitude Era. WWE wrestling is too PG. Bring back the Attitude Era. Okay, puppies, bring it all back. This stuff is it's for kids now. And then, when, and then when AEW steps up to the plate and tries to give you a tip of, of some fucking attitude... These guys lose their fucking minds. Get the fuck out of here, bro. These fucking wrestling fans. Do you guys see why I don't like to partake in, in, in these wrestling shows or participate in their fucking shenanigans or go to these fucking meet and greets? You think I want to be surrounded in line by a bunch of fucking soy boy cucks? Okay, wearing a, a, wearing a fucking Alexa Bliss t-shirt with a Kenny Omega hat and a fake Pikachu tail. All right? Oh, yeah, Goblin Michael, I can't wait to, uh, Alexa Bliss, oh, yeah, but I'm gonna take a picture with her, and, you know, oh, it's gonna be just for, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I paid $500 for this photo shoot, and in this photo shoot, she's gonna, it, it includes uh, uh, her putting my, uh, her arm around me, oh, yeah, AEW for life, oh, yeah, bro, these fucking wrestling fans, I've had enough of them, man. These, bro, how is that an offensive comment? Seriously, can someone can someone explain to me how is that an offensive comment? I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, so what? This is how most men are. Most straight men, you know, they see uh, a hot piece of ass and we visualize these chicks naked. I guess because JR is uh, an, old, an older grandpa type and I guess people saw it as perverted because he was imagining a hot young skank naked. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm, these fucking... Yeah, okay, AEW fanboys. Yeah, we're edgy. We're extreme. Bro, if you, if you were to take these current wrestling fans, these AEW fanboys, and you were to fucking sit them all down and, and put on a fucking pay-per-view from ECW from 1997 when Joe Gertner was on the mic or Joey Styles... Or when Sam and, and Raven were having that feud over that fucking skank and Missy Hyatt. These fucking wrestling fans, holy shit. They would fucking go ape shit. They would do fucking petitions and, and, and bro, they would just fucking lose it. These wrestling fans today, you aren't ready for the Attitude Era. All I hear from, from these fucking wrestling fans, broski, is bitch, 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 moan, whine, and bitch, bitch, bitch. You know, you know, Seth Rollins was right. A lot, a lot of these fans, they're not patient with some of the long-term storylines that the WWE is building, you know? Oh, he should be champion. Oh, he so-and-so should be champion. Uh, okay, he's a born champion. Give it to somebody else. Listen, I was one of those, all right? But then when you actually sit down and pay attention to wrestling, you fucking realize, oh, okay, this is a storyline that has been... Building up since last year. So it kind of makes it intriguing. You just got to have the patience for it. It's just, I understand it's just entertainment broski. But come on, these fucking wrestling fans. 
you see the way they talk? Uh, it boggles my fucking mind. You want the attitude era back, but you can't handle a simple comment from an old man that was just visualizing a hot chick naked. Get the fuck out of here, bro, later.